Welcome to the channel all about economic board games. Today I'm giving you an overview of this game, Pan Am. And this is brought to you by Funko Games. These guys at the bottom there. Now this one is a two to four player game. Roughly takes 60 to 90 minutes and it's sort of that medium complexity game. Now in this game we are airline companies and we're hoping to be kind of taken over by Pan Am themselves. They were sort of a, a global pioneer of airline during the sort of late 20s onwards and it's an interesting one where you're actually hoping to get taken over to sort of um you know get more money and then you can invest more in your company to to get more routes and more income and looking at the board then it's a rather large interesting map of the world you've kind of got north america here south america and it kind of works across the the asian pacific to to asia there africa and and europe here now you start with one of the companies we've got yellow here aero cosmopolitan and it's very good for representing the round sequence and we're pretty much going to go through that first thing you're going to do is get in an event and reveal you've got seven events which represent round one to seven you're going to reveal that you can see we've got the foundation of pan am gives you a bit of description in this case during the expansion phase something's going to happen you've got the stock price so you're hoping to buy stocks which is how you're going to win the game it ranges from three to eleven so four is pretty cheap and the expansion cube which means you're going to be rolling in this dice here which will influence where pan am go on the board or if this blue one comes out you get to sell one of your routes to them next thing we're going to do then so we've done the stock price of influence that now i should say this is your company this is where you're going to keep your planes and your fleet they range from one to four and they're all kind of at the top here so you got your ones your twos your threes and your fours there's only one of the fours and they only come out from round six now looking at the actual planes to sort of determine what they you can see if that sort of focuses in slightly there's a little groove at the end which shows you it's a one just to help you sort of identify it and on your board you've got your income track at the bottom here you start off on zero you get 12 money you get a couple of these destination cards which are always face up and a secret directive card which are very interesting and these guys are the first player and you've got these five engineers which we're about to use during the engineer phase so this is something called priority access which is where on the next round never really happens on the first round because you haven't actually got any of these engineers out but if you decided to go here on the next round you will be first dibs as to choosing any of these locations you can see on the board you've got a and b c d and e so it's always done in that order of play so assignment then yellows might decide right yeah i'm going to go for directives the red players thinking okay i really want one of these airports so i'll kind of explain what each one is airports are how you're going to get these things at the side of the board and put them on the main locations of the board so you can see new delhi calcutta because you're hoping to claim these routes in the middle so you reds have gone there and you can see it's going to be an actual bidding process so if reds go for five until someone else goes higher so let's just say yellow went for seven let me grab one of theirs they're like right i really want an airport if they go to seven the reds are being ousted and that actual engineer goes back to the red company so they can get to use it again but yellows in this case are going to have to be paying that extortionate price of seven so that's a bit about the airports and i'll kind of go through what airports how valuable they are on the board in a minute b is where you're going to go for destinations and you can see here if you put one of your pawns let's say on the bottom here that's going to cost you zero someone might come and outbid you and these locations are key for claiming routes which i'll kind of explain on the next part well actually no, we're going to do planes first so see at the top this is how you're going to get your planes so you've got the ones the twos the threes come out in round three fours in round six and again you're bidding so anyway you see these numbers that's how much you're going to pay if you win the bid if you're lucky and you're one of the last players to go and this is still available you might get it for zero so these are the, the, how you're going to get the planes to actually apply to the routes. so it's kind of you can go and get the airports which help you with the routes actually get destinations to help build the routes get the planes that you're going to need to go on the routes and this is where you're actually going to go to build the route so d if you don't have a plane uh, one of your engineers here you can't actually build one of the routes and put a plane up so in this example let's just say yellow went there now you can see there's no actual bidding process it's first come first serve so you might want to have a you, you might have an opportunity to put a couple of yellows out but if this is ever full you know a player's not going to get a chance to do that on this round and this is essentially let me grab one of these planes and so if you had so what have they got? Beirut and Hong Kong. We'll go with Hong Kong. And let's just say the yellows did win 
this airport phase, which I'll go through in a minute, they would have had the opportunity to put an airport on any location. And let's just say they went from Manila here. Now, Hong Kong, they have a choice to be able to put a claim this route with a plane that's either one or higher. Let's just say we're going to do the two in this case. They need to have the rights to both ends of the location. They have an airport. Fantastic. They've got the rights to Manila. That's what airports are for great at doing. To get Hong Kong, though, they either need the exact card with the name on which we do hong kong and they get to keep the card and that claims the the rights or if they didn't have the actual card let's just say this was uh what have we got tokyo they could use the symbol instead which you can see hong kong is the same much as symbol for that area and you can see each area you've got kind of these sort of palm trees and then tigers for asia these sort of statues for europe and then the eagles over there so there's four different symbols on the game if this say had tokyo written on it you could discard this card and you could claim the right to hong kong because it's the same symbol or if you had neither and you had say two tiger cards i'm just going to go and rob these some red you could discard two of the same symbol to match well to claim that route but they're discarded so you try and really to get the exact names you get to keep the card which you could then use on a future go to maybe go from here to calcutta or over here or wherever you see fit and then you claim the route you put your plane down and your income goes up by that number on the board not by how big your plane is we've wasted a two really we should have been efficient and gone for a one so our income on the track would have gone up by two boom fantastic stuff but i have got ahead of myself there i was hoping just to explain a bit about how you build the routes so we did d that's where you actually go to the routes directives you'd go there to get the advantage on the next round but you also get one of these cards and you've well we're only putting out at this moment so we've done the events we've done the engineers the assignment until everyone's put their workers out sometimes you might not get a chance to do it because you can't afford to bid on certain things and finally we don't well not finally we go to resolution which is number three so we start with a to E. So A, whoever was the highest would be paying the bid. So yellows would get their engineer back. They would pay seven. Put one of these out, which we kind of skipped ahead and went for this one, Manila. You'd then go to B, which is you get these destination cards. And you can see reds were the only people here. They get this one for free. These would then be replenished. Any cards that were there from a previous round would get a coin on them. So these guys would have more incentive to get those cards on a future round. C, if anyone was here, they'd get a plane and pay the cost. D is where you actually go and build those routes. So again, we skipped ahead and I've kind of showed you how to build that route and what combinations of air, like airports and cards you need to get that. You go in order from left to right, fulfill all those routes. And then finally, E, you get some of these cards. And these are great, folks. What have we got? When resolving your engineer claim an additional route so when you're do and it sort of says when to do it so during the routes phase here if you've got an engineer you can claim an extra route without paying the cost so you don't have to worry about having the right cars say from san fran to mexico you don't need to actually just put a route down as long as you've got the plane it's equal or higher so there's a host of these really great to get now you can see that yellow is at that spot for directive so when it comes back around next round to the res engineer phase they're going to get first dibs to go out there and that's great because if there's cars that they really want from here they can get them if they want to try and bid a certain sneaky price on the airports and a host of things so once you've done the resolution then a to e we're going to go to the pan am phase which if that even focuses is going to be expansion now this is how pan am cause mischief and it's the name of the game how they're actually going to be uh, claiming and buying these routes so what you will do is you'll look at this foundation of pan am and we're going to follow out the actual description which was to go down the what was it called the asian pacific route now they start in this game on miami in the advanced ones you can start on rome i believe it is so for miami they're going to be going down this asian pacific route and we literally grab one of these pan am tokens the next route is here from miami to havana because it goes down you can see it's slightly squiggly lines whereas that one's got the straight lines and this one's got the dotted lines so they've taken over this route and if we had had a plane there 
let's just assume yellow had had the the rights to that we would be bought out the plane would go back to our fleet fantastic we've been efficient we can use it again and for the troubles pan am would have paid as a bonus for a size one route we would have got five money straight away and the key is to get that money because you're going to be wanting to buy shares shortly now we have undertaken the description there's one dice symbol so we're going to be rolling this dice now on here you've got various combinations of these sort of different well there's only three spots really so from miami you can see you're either going to be going up here to europe with those sort of dash dash lines or you're going to be going down here with the dotted lines to south america or you're going to be going down in the, the some uh, Asian Pacific with these sort of uh, crisscrossy lines. So we're going to roll the die. That will determine where you go. If it had landed on, say, this one, you'd have chosen those two routes and they would have expanded. Let's just say one there and one down here from Miami. If it lands on this blue symbol, you get to choose. Each, uh, each player gets to choose which route they want to sell. So you can see up here in the, the yellow area from Manila to Hong Kong, it might, not, it might be the case that it never really gets all this way. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't doesn't maybe the luck of the die takes you up here or the cards but it, that blue option on the die gives these guys the opportunity to say look i want to sell this route they're going to sell it to pan am they put a token on so no one can go there for, from now on and they get the cash straight off and more importantly this goes back in their fleet so that is kind of what you do during the expansion phase income is next you double check where routes you got on the board and what air, airports each airport is an in, increase in income of one and then you look at wherever your routes are and you get the money as well so then you get your income in this case it would have been one just for that one airport you then get the chance to buy stock and interestingly first players any game gets to go first and you can see the cost at the moment on the stock track is four so these are the shares ones and fives and that's how you go in to win the game whoever has the most shares after round seven wins and then it's a tie breaker it's going to be based on how much money you've got left now as you go through these event cards you can see what we got round two it stays at four round three round three it's going to go up to five and these rounds i should add i'll just go and grab the original deck there's a host of them there's about four of each so there's four round one cards and i'll just show you what these are so radio communications you could see in round one it could have shot up to five it could have equally gone down to three could have stayed at four then into round two you can see that symbol denotes it could go up you can also see this double dice on the expansion and what we've got remove the cruise tile in the planes area that's impressive so you get to take this that would have been in round three off and you can see this bidding for that particular style of plane which is needed to accomplish some of these bigger routes so you can see this one here needs a free plane and obviously the bigger the plane and the route the more income you would get added to here so free in that case which gets you progressively more income income from round to round and there's a very interesting balance between are you going to go for routes that are a little bit further afield because pan am you know they're not going to take over them for a little while so you're progressively getting more income or you're going to go and get routes that are close by so you know that there is a good chance they're going to get taken over and you're going to get this money from the bonus routes because you need that money to buy these stocks here and if you wait too long and the price starts creeping up <laughs> you know you've, you've paid double from what someone's paid earlier on so some fascinating balance there now as i say at round three these are going to become available round six that's becoming becoming available you're going to go from round to round and literally that's all these planes and routes with absolutely nothing you're just trying to manage this company as efficiently as you can to have the most money and the most income to buy those shares at the best opportunities you can and there we are folks if you're looking for a sort of more of an insight i'm doing a playthrough a run through next week on this one enjoy